Um, hi, what is your name and who are you a parent to in Hebrew Day? My name is Mary Feifel and I had three children that graduated from Hebrew Day, Ariel, Natanya, and Eitan. Okay, um, so can you share a story or experience that you've had with Hebrew Day? Sure. Um, well, I, I always felt that Hebrew Day was a very nu nurturing environment, and one story that comes to mind is when my youngest son, Eitan, uh, one afternoon uh, I was expecting him home from carpool, and it was getting late, um, so I called the mom that was supposed to pick him up from carpool, and, um, and she said, Eitan's not in the car with me. I, I thought he was coming home with you. I thought you were going to pick him up. So I started to panic. I hung up the phone and I called the school. I got the I got the school's voicemail and um, I left a very panicky message. Hung up, got in the car, and started driving to Hebrew Day. On my way to Hebrew Day, the principal called and she said she had heard my message and she said, "Don't worry, Eitan's here. He's in the after school class." Um, I'm going to be leaving in about half an hour, so if you want me to drive Aitan home, I will. Well, I, I was already in the car. I thanked her for, um, for offering to drive him home and said I was on my way. I was expecting to get to the school and see my little boy crying, traumatized that no one had picked him up after school. But when I got to the school, he was in the after, after uh, school daycare room. Um, having snacks, playing with friends, under the very diligent supervision and guidance of the teachers. I practically had to drag him out of the classroom to get him uh, to get him to come home. Uh, and I finally did, and, and when we were in the car, he began protesting. He's saying, "Why did you have to come and pick me up so early?" He had no idea that he he was supposed to be in the that he was forgotten and, and not picked up in the carpool. Um, and that's when I realized that the only person traumatized was me and not him. He was completely happy. So that, that's a story of, of how, how nurturing and, and how warm of an environment Hebrew Day is that um, kids just feel so comfortable here. Thank you so much. You're welcome.